What are you guys doing? Some sort of music video. The concept for the video came about kind of as a joke. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if our fucking what's it called? travel insurance covers skydiving. I couldn't help get the idea out of my head for just kind of extreme sports kind of thing for this song because that's what it, it fit to me in my brain. The song itself I wrote about overcoming your fears. So we had this strange idea of, hey, let's jump out of an aeroplane. Give it all you got. When I first heard the idea that we were skydiving in the video, I was actually pretty excited. The learning process is actually fucking scary. You've got to do nine jumps just to get your AFF, which is the first mark towards your A license. You do all this theory on the ground, they're talking about all the situations where if you fuck up, you basically die. There's not much more crazy than that. Um, none of us know how to do it, so it was just kind of a throwaway idea, but Frankie, our director, decided that that was the one to go for. Good! Very nice, very nice! Good first take. I put a few of these ideas to Frankie, expecting him to say, no way, it's not possible, you know, it's not going to happen, and he loved it and basically just ran with it and took the idea on, refined it. He scouted the location, he found different crew, he, he just did everything, and from there it's kind of snowballed. The moment that Frankie said, it's on, it actually became a very scary reality. I'm terrified of heights. Right. No, I'll do it. He taps me, I give him the thumbs up, he gives me the nod, then we go. Just get it behind you. Yep. Right, kind of like this, holding on to your back. Copy that. And then, you know, there's a, there's a handle here that if you pull it, we all die. Copy that. This was the scariest thing I've done in my entire life. This looks like it would cut you the fucking half. It became one of those moments when I realized, yeah, you've, you've written this song and the lyrics mean a lot to you, but if you don't follow through with them, then you're not exactly practicing what you preach. Like, listen to what you've actually put on paper. I'm trying not to turn into a fucking drug from, and I'm also trying not to get moisturizer on my gear. Harsh reality. Fuck. The basic center point for the entire clip came down to literally one shot and the whole theory behind the, the clip literally hinged on the one shot where I have to sing on the outside of the plane and then we jump off in the one cut simply so you know that I wasn't being stunt double, that we actually did this shit. It's kind of freaky. It was, it took us a few takes to get. We didn't nail it the first time. We took a couple of rehearsals. You can actually hear me screaming over the top of the sound of the engine of the plane, which is pretty nuts because we had no click counter or anything to keep us in time. And I think it was the third take, we nailed it. And we didn't know until we got down and we looked back at the footage and we were like, oh my God, we nailed it. Th third time in, we got the one shot we needed for the clip. From then on, it was all just fun. It was pretty cool when we actually shot the, the performance side of things that a whole bunch of kids came out and were super psyched to just basically have fun like a show. Playing to the crowd was so awesome. We're generally a pretty awkward band to film when it comes to making any video clip, just because it's kind of a funny situation to be in. And especially when you're playing to a live audience, um, it really comes down to how much energy they've got to break that tension. You guys are actually the first people to hear any of this or even know it exists. Seriously, thank you guys so much for being awesome. We Love have really dog. rad Love fans and yeah. really awesome Love family. You guys are fucking amazing every time we've done anything. And it, thanks for having faith in actually coming here to a bunch of airplanes and an airfield. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Four planes right! Four planes right! Who's got you in its sights? One minute away, guys. One minute away. Okay, guys, here we go. The sky is beautiful, man. Here we go. Third playthrough of this song, we had people singing along louder than the playback. What's going on right now? Sing along! Yeah. At that point in time, it was really like a reality check of how awesome our fans are. Best crowd in the world right here, so. Oh, It 
it was really fun having people there. It created a whole new energy and it just felt like a show. They were all just jumping around having fun, even though they'd never heard the song before. Everything just actually worked out really perfectly. It just went really smoothly. The team was really professional. We're actually really lucky to work with Joe Jennings, who's a bit of a legend in skydive filming. He's done a bunch of movies. One of the most acclaimed, best skydiving videographers ever to existed in Joe Jennings. He was absolutely phenomenal. And Joe is an extreme skydiving filmer. He. He shot the Triple X, did something for um, Air Force One, whatever the show was. Basically, he's just a dead set legend and he just crushed it. So, Joe's basically the best skydive filmer in the world, literally. He's filmed all the Hollywood hits you can think of. And we just got him on stage, just had a few beers, and he did his first stage dive ever. He's done something like 12,000 jumps out of a plane, but he's never stage dived, and he just did it, and I think he had more fun doing that than skydiving. He was loving it. He's quitting skydiving and starting stage diving, I think. Like the best thing I've, I've never done that before. Here's this crowd underneath me, and I just freaking jumped, and I felt a thousand hands. That was better than skydiving. This was by far the funnest, best video shoot we've ever done. Be lucky enough to have Frankie give us the chance to actually do it and then put it together in such an amazing visual. Look at what it is. It's, it's, we, we got to jump out of a plane and skydive and fly through the air with our friends to make a music video and it was pretty, pretty memorable. So everyone that rocked up, thank you guys so much.